Okay, listen, I will give you a grape, but you better not attack my dog. Don't attack my dog. Oh, ow, ow, Ellie, don't Ellie. attack the rooster. Ellie! Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today <laughs> has been cold. Cold. It's so cold today. I can't even wait to show you guys what we got to make our farm a little bit better. But first, I wanted to show you guys this is my winter coat for the barn. And I want to show you this so that I can remember. I have a video to look back because I always forget. But this is my winter coat for the barn. It has a hood, it's got these ribbed things. This is my winter coat to go places. It's just like my winter coat to. It's got blue on the inside to like go out to town and to go out for dinner or to go wherever. And this long, long, long one is my winter coat for the lesson barn, if that makes sense. I'm actually trying to keep all my coat separate, all my shoes separate because I don't want to, especially in the winter when things get wet, it gets more stinky and I don't want to go places wearing the wrong coat. You guys know, if you know, you know. I just wanted to take a second to say how much Gabby is loving school, you guys. Everyone wants my sandwich. I came outside to sit down and eat my sandwich. Everybody wants it. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Ellie, <laughs> run, run Ellie, run. <laughs> <laughs> the rooster <laughs> we just got into it oh my gosh honestly i spent all morning when i was doing chores i was cleaning out chino's field and i spent all morning <laughs> teaching ellie the run game basically if i scream run <laughs> she always runs even if she doesn't know what's happening because you never know oh look <laughs> I threw them I threw them the last piece of my, my egg <laughs> and the little one got it She's the Sophie's amazing new pencil case sent by a friend so nice she loves it Gabby loves hers too um I set it up what I set it up. come on down here and show it to me she set it up show it so to me oh Ellie <laughs> run away from that Ellie run Run, Ellie. Pick her up. Ellie. I don't want to get killed. This is always what happens. I'm always getting attacked because of her. Ellie, we don't fight roosters. <laughs> I think she thinks we can take them. <laughs> Stop. Leave him alone. And I'm not joking. I can't show the front of this. I filled out the information. Okay. Because so. I wanted to. Um, but in the big pocket, I have this with the lanyard on it, and then I have a highlighter, and then in here I have pens. Wow, I didn't even see that. That's adorable. She must really know you guys because she got a black one with stitches, and Gabby loves black. And a pinkish one, and Sophie loves pink. And then I have two erasers. They didn't two even have to fight over them. Here. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. We are just getting ready to leave. We're waiting for some guy to come and deliver something for Sam. Getting ready for winter, guys. That's what today's video is all about. Getting ready, ready for winter, because we are actually wearing winter coats. Sophie's got on a big, huge, heavy sweater. Gabby has riding lessons tonight. Actually, we're, we have a lot going on today. A lot going on tonight. A lot going on this weekend. It is crunch time. It is Thursday. Two more days till our show, and it's just going to be crazy. Anyways. I hope Storm has energy. I hope so. Storm Anyth good, but early. Anytime you take Storm someplace, he usually has energy. And he, we didn't ride him yesterday because he just got his shoes, so hopefully he'll be good. But anyways. That chicken must be so cold. Because it's so little. It's still got that no, egg and it's running. Oh, the one that's molting. molting. Oh, I hate molting chickens. They always look so rough. But anyways. But my plan with homeschool was was to find out it was like a, it was like an it was like an experiment it was like what would happen to a child if they went through all the middle years all the formative years all the what if they went through like all the formative years all the middle year school years and they only had love and kindness and they only had respect and they only had um acceptance for who they were and what they could do academically like what would happen to them what happened if a child grew up only knowing love and kindness and being socialized in situations where it was with people that were like-minded and 
share the same values and, and goals for their children. What would happen to those kids? Like, would they never be able to go back into society, full society, like a school situation or a job situation? Or would they go back stronger than ever? And I have to tell you guys, Gabby's been in school now for almost two weeks and Molly goes with Sam every day to drive her because he, <laughs> Miss, she misses hit her, but she honestly has gone into that school system and been unbelievable. She loves it with her whole heart. She's strong and emotionally so confident and healthy. Okay, listen, I will give you a grape, but you better not attack my dog. Don't attack my dog. Ow, ow, Ellie, don't Ellie. attack the rooster. Ellie, oh my gosh, get away. <laughs> Stop! Throw her over. Molly is currently in doggy jail and Molly's in herding mode. She's like, please just let me herd these chickens. If you hear Ellie barking, it's because she's in her crate. She doesn't spend much time there, <laughs> but attacking roosters is enough to get you in jail. Anyways, so back to my story. Gabby is obsessed with school. She loves it. She's so happy. She's so relaxed. She's so calm. She comes home every day and shows us what she has to do. Like she had a, she had to hand in like a report, not like a full report, but just like answer a bunch of questions and write paragraphs and stuff. And she got a hundred percent on that. And the teacher said, well done or good job or something. Gabby thrives on positive feedback. Like honestly, I could never have pictured it to go better. Like I knew she would be successful in school because she's so well grounded inside of herself. Gabby's not in a lot of the videos because she's always doing her own thing. She's not exact, she's not as into the same stuff as Sophie and I are into. Sam always is working in the morning. So they're not always in the videos, but honestly, Gabby has taught me so much. So grateful to be her parent. She's taught me so much. She's taught me about peace and that she's so peaceful. She's taught me about kindness in a different way. She's not kind in the way that I thought you should be kind by saying kind things to people and by being understanding to people. She's kind in a way that she's quiet and just allows people to be who they are. Like it's she's taught me so much I feel so grateful like I said but anyway she is nailing school she loves school she's excited by it. she hasn't even done anything exciting yet she hasn't like done any like Christmas fun stuff she hasn't gone to any dances she hasn't done any of the fun stuff yet but she is loving it like absolutely loving it absolutely thriving I'm so proud of her and I'm so amazed at what can happen to kids who grow up through those hard years having mostly positive kind experiences like it's just such a shocking ex it's it's just been shocking to see her go to school it's been shocking like i just can't explain it any better so the first thing that we did today to combat winter was sam bought this really cool heater system so it's run by propane and sophie and i've been doing a lot of our uh, homeschool and stuff out here, which is super exciting. So now that today is freezing cold, he got this so that it can keep us warm. I've used one of these before when we went to that first aid course that I told you guys about. And it, if you sit right underneath it, it literally keeps you so warm. So we got that. So Sophie thinks that she's taller than me finally. What do you guys think? Go back to back. Who's taller? No, stand down. <laughs> No, stand down. Put on your feet. Go on your I feet. Am, I, I you're like not. That. You're like, can I even balance yourself? Okay, back to back. Stop pushing me. Who's taller? Me. All right. Second thing we're doing is we're getting some straw for our chicken coop and for our goat or for our duck and our goose. Oh, it's light. Ugh. We decided to go shopping to get some warm sweaters. She's like, ooh, toy. Get them all, get it. We went shopping to get some warm sweaters and we ended up getting Ellie this dragon. Is it a dragon? Yeah. Costume. And it's kind of small. This is, I think, like her ears are supposed to go in here. So it's a bit small. But on the back end of her, her leg muscles are this big. Like, she's the, her muscles are so huge. You can't even pull it up past her leg muscles. Anyways, 
Cinder She's not particularly in love with it. Do you not love it? Is he with the girls? Oh, oh my God, he's with the girls. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Well, they're not in heat, so that saves us. The last time he got out, the first week we had him here, he went through here, and then Sam fixed it, but I bet ya, I bet ya. He bought some stuff to fix this gate so it closes properly. No boys allowed in your room. Do you understand? Okay. I think they're okay in terms of no one's in heat, so. That's good. Okay, turn it on. But one of the hardest parts of having this farm is that it's trying to keep water for the duck and the goose. I don't know how we're going to do this in the winter. All right, something odd has happened to our water. See how it has like that dirty color? I cleaned out the pool and then I rinsed it out. You can see it. You see the water is a different color. You see it? What the heck? Ellie's playing the run game again. So how we play the run game is that if anybody sees her with a goat staring down at her, they yell run and she runs. Watch. Let's see if I can do it. Run, Ellie! Run! Run! <laughs> Sophie got this really cute little bag. I want a bag like this, too. I found it for you, Anne. I was like, if you don't want I love it. I, I don't want a pink one, though. I want, like, a black one. or It's cute. It's really cute. I, I like the pink one, too. One. Yeah, this is cute. Maybe you can get a Lululemon one for Christmas. Or birthday. Or your birthday. So... What the heck happened to our water? I gotta go tell Sam that the water came out murky. Clearly, Leo doesn't care. He's like, I'll have murky water. So today is water bucket cleaning day. I emptied this one and scrubbed it out. Sam's gonna do this one. How do you guys do water? Usually what we do is when it's time to clean it, we let them drink it down as far as they can. And it takes like maybe two days and then we are able to empty it. Winter is gonna be rough. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous. The pump wasn't working, so Sam had to fix it. So that's the water pump. And that's Sophie, who are you talking to? My bestie. Elizabeth? We're gonna see you tonight, Elizabeth? Huh? We're gonna see Elizabeth tonight? I haven't showed you guys this, but this is super exciting. So, who knows what this is? But basically, it's a bunch of hula hoops. It's all different sizes. These are the tiny ones. And this is the hula hoop holder. And we're gonna use these with our minis and with our goats this, uh, this winter. We're gonna teach them to jump and maybe even with our chickens. It'll be fun. I know. Who are you riding tonight, Elizabeth? Are you walking home from school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh, what? my first time walking home from school in the first two weeks and I hate it. <laughs> It's your first time walking home in the first two weeks. At least it's nice and cold. I mean, not really. I'm kind of in a sweatsuit and absolutely sweating right now. We are headed to the lesson barn for Gabby to have lessons. And honestly, he's a little goat got out two times today and I have been cracking up. Sophie and I almost pee our pants laughing at him. He is so cute and so funny. So he's... It's such a brat. It's such a brat, she says. But he's not a brat. He's just being a goat. So I'm wondering if my girls are starting to come into heat. I'm gonna write it down anyway in my folder that uh, they, he got out. We can't figure out how he's getting out. That's the problem. So that's always the problem. Our fence has been really secure. Like once we figured out how he's getting out the first time, we fixed that. But anyways, he's so funny. So we went out there and they were all running. Like they, he had them run in. They were all happy and he was so happy to be out and to be being, to be free. The little boy that he's with, our little um, weather, he doesn't ever go out. He doesn't ever get out. I do not know how it's happening. But anyways, so they're all running and we, we ran and we cornered him in the, in the barnyard, Gino's field. 
and he's looking at us and he's all hunched like in this little tawny like he just oh my god he's so cute and then I have to like pretend that I don't yeah I'm not looking at him I have to like look, do, 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 pretend I'm looking everywhere else otherwise if I make eye contact with him he runs so uh, finally I get really close I grab him by the horn because that's the only way that I can catch him and he's just so funny he resists the whole time going back to his field like he's funny he's just funny like he tries to turn his head and ram you in the, in the leg with his horn but he doesn't do it like in mean in a mean way he's not aggressive it's like so simple like he's it's like he's a baby doing it but oh my gosh he's he's he met, and then Sophie and I just laugh like I lost him there for a second he got away and we had to catch him again and we were just laughing so hard but anyway he honestly is my my I love him the most he's my I love him the best Sophie do you like him no <laughs> so, he's not Sophie's favorite we had so much troubles getting here uh Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So Elizabeth and Sophie were back, left a long time before Gabby. So Gabby had a choice to choose Hops or Nash. So anyway, people are worried about Nash's top line because he has a big, huge sway back. And I guess it's difficult for them to see. I don't know. All right, this is going to be nuts. So we got home from riding lessons late. It's dark. We already put the chickens in and we already put the boy goats in because our buck kept escaping and we didn't know what was gonna happen when we were gone. So Gabby has a test tomorrow she has to study for and she has to shower. So we're gonna do all the chores. Oh, he did eat, oh good. I'd like to see if Chino ate all this food. It is dark as heck, but it's noisy. Noisy on the farm. I thought that was Timbit. I was like, oh, Timbit. No, we goose. put him away. Come on, can you get the duck and the goose? Oh, they're coming. They're my friends. <laughs> it's basket. Willow, you fatty. Come on, I'm bringing some hay down yeah. for you guys. Oh. See right now. We can just open this door because the boys are gone. Yeah, I know. Look at, they already dirtied their water. I just gave it to them like two hours ago, fresh. Okay. <sighs> Ellie hears us. Yeah, I was like, I'm coming, guys. Come on. If we came out this way, be they're so cute. Come on. Oh, they're like, don't put the. No, y'all haven't been in this area in a bit. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't anybody trip. I don't even have. Come on! They're like, we're going to <laughs> they're like you took so long. <laughs> they're she running. Down the hill, what she never does. All right, just open. I guess we have to open this door and let them in, eh? <sighs> Come on! A little mocha is like the sweetest little thing. Awesome. <laughs> Blossom, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, I didn't get grain. Come on, come on. <laughs> They're coming. Stay in. Come on. I gotta get grain for them. Look Can you? Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and she's right up there. She's like, I'll get the grain in here. That's so, she is so cute. Oh, you guys came in. You're so, oops. You're so good. Here. Go ahead. Get in there. Go in your stall. That's why I always want to come out later cuz everyone's ready for that. I got to get them fresh water. <sighs> All right. There's that. Oh, my goodness. All right. The bed or they are in bed. Everyone's happy. Yep. Have you been bulking up again? We wormed everybody. Everybody's wormed. He knows getting, Chino's his, getting his medicine. Hop in. Hi, sweet girl. 
I love taking Jordan to shows because then he's so much more forward. Look at the baby. You can't even see the baby <laughs> because she's so close to Gracie. Yeah, they share. There's another pile over there. Have you seen these? Good job, Sam. Took a long time. They didn't want to come in. Especially in the dark. Yeah. Gracie was the one that did. We'll just take the rest. Gracie will follow. Don't you know that you